Mead. Mead, from Old English Maidu, is an alcoholic beverage created by fermenting honey with water, sometimes with various fruits, spices, grains, or hops. The alcoholic content ranges from about 3.5% ABV to more than 20%. The defining characteristic of mead is that the majority of the beverage's fermentable sugar is derived from honey. It may be still, carbonated, or naturally sparkling, dry, semi-sweet, or sweet. Mead was produced in ancient history throughout Europe, Africa, and Asia, and has played an important role in the mythology of some peoples. In Norse mythology, for example, the meat of poetry was crafted from the blood of the wise being Kvasir and turned the drinker into a poet or scholar. The terms meat and honey wine often are used synonymously. Some cultures, though, differentiate honey wine from meat. For example, Hungarians hold that while meat is made of honey, water and beer yeast, barm, honey wine is watered honey fermented by recrement of grapes or other fruits. Pottery vessels dating from 7000 BC discovered in northern China have shown chemical signatures consistent with the presence of honey, rice, and organic compounds associated with fermentation. In Europe, it is first described from residual samples found in ceramics of the Bell Beaker culture circa 2800 to 1800 BCE. The earliest surviving description of meat is in the hymns of the Rig Veda, one of the sacred books of the historical Vedic religion and, later, Hinduism date around 1700 to 1100 BC. During the Golden Age of Ancient Greece, mead was said to be the preferred drink. Aristotle, 384 to 322 BCE, discussed mead in his Meteorologica and elsewhere, while Pliny the Elder, 23 to 79 CE, called mead millitites in his Naturalis Historia and differentiated wine sweetened with honey or honey wine from mead. The Hispanic Roman naturalist Columella gave a recipe for mead in De Rustica about 60 CE. There is a poem attributed to the brythonic speaking bard Taliesin, who lived around 550 CE, called the Orsong of Mead. The legendary drinking, feasting and boasting of warriors in the Mead Hall is echoed in the Mead Hall in Aden, modern-day Edinburgh, as depicted in the poem Agodavin, attributed to the poet Denarin who would have been a contemporary of Taliesin. In the Old English epic poem Beowulf, the Danish warriors drank mead. In both insular Celtic and Germanic cultures mead was the primary heroic drink in poetry. Later, taxation and regulations governing the ingredients of alcoholic beverages led to commercial mead becoming a more obscure beverage until recently. Some monasteries kept up the old traditions of mead making as a byproduct of beekeeping, especially in areas where grapes could not be grown. The English mead, fermented honey drink, derives from the Old English meodu or meidu, and Proto-Germanic. Medutz, source also of Old Norse Njothr, Danish Miod, Old Frisian and Middle Dutch Mead, Old High German Mitu, German Met Mead, Mod, and the related terms Mad, and Madeira, also mean alcohol. These words are all derived from the Sanskrit language, and are Indo-European cognates of the English Mead, Greek Mu Theta Upsilon, Avestan Madu, Persian May, Latvian and Lithuanian Medus, German Met and Old Church Slavonic, Medu. In this sense, these terms are also used for additional words related to alcohol. For instance, Madushala is a Hindi word for an establishment that serves alcohol, as is Madiralaya, lit. Abode of alcohol, cf Himalaya, abode of snow. Madmast, means intoxicated due to alcohol, and is a word frequently used in poetry and song in the region, sometimes as a stylized reference to being in an emotional state resembling intoxication for other reasons, such as romantic love. The yeast used in mead making is often identical to that used in wine making. Many home mead makers choose to use wine yeasts, particularly those used to deem the preparation of white wines, to make their mead. By measuring the specific gravity of the mead once before fermentation and throughout the fermentation process by means of a hydrometer or refractometer, mead makers can determine the proportion of alcohol by volume that will appear in the final product. This also serves another purpose. By measuring specific gravity throughout fermentation, a mead maker can quickly troubleshoot a stuck batch, one where the fermentation process has been halted prematurely. Meats will often ferment well at the same temperatures in which wine is fermented. After primary fermentation slows down significantly, the meat is then racked into a second container. 
This is known as secondary fermentation. Some larger commercial fermenters are designed to allow both primary and secondary fermentation to happen inside of the same vessel. Racking is done for two reasons it lets the mead sit away from the remains of the yeast cells, lees, that have died during the fermentation process. Second, this lets the mead have time to clear. If the mead maker wishes to back sweeten the product or prevent it from oxidizing, potassium metabisulfite and potassium sorbate are added. After the mead clears, it is bottled and distributed. Mead can have a wide range of flavors depending on the source of the honey, additives, also known as adjuncts or groot, including fruit and spices, the yeast employed during fermentation, and the aging procedure. Some producers have marketed white wine sweetened and flavored with honey after fermentation as mead, sometimes spelling it mead. This is closer in style to a hypocras. Blended varieties of mead may be known by the style represented. For instance, a mead made with cinnamon and apples may be referred to as either a cinnamon sizer or an apple methylene. A mead that also contains spices, such as cloves, cinnamon or nutmeg, or herbs, such as meadowsweet, hops, or even lavender or chamomile, is called a methylene. A mead that contains fruit, such as raspberry, blackberry or strawberry, is called a melomel, which was also used as a means of food preservation, keeping summer produce for the winter. A mead that is fermented with grape juice is called a piment. Mulled mead is a popular drink at Christmas time, where mead is flavored with spices, and sometimes various fruits, and warmed, traditionally by having a hot poker plunged into it. Some meads retain some measure of the sweetness of the original honey, and some may even be considered as dessert wines. Dryer meads are also available, and some producers offer sparkling meads. There are foam meads, which are actually wines with honey added after fermentation as a sweetener and flavoring. Historically, meads were fermented with wild yeasts and bacteria, as noted in the recipe quoted above, residing on the skins of the fruit or within the honey itself. Wild yeasts can produce inconsistent results. Yeast companies have isolated strains of yeast which produce consistently appealing products. Brewers, winemakers, and mead makers commonly use them for fermentation, including yeast strains identified specifically for mead fermentation. These are strains that have been selected because of their characteristic of preserving delicate honey flavors and aromas. Mead can also be distilled to a brandy or liqueur strength. A version called honey jack can be made by partly freezing a quantity of mead and straining this out of the liquid a process known as freeze distillation, in the same way that applejack is made from cider. In Finland, a sweet meat called, cognate with the root of zymergy, is still an essential seasonal fermented product connected with the Finnish Vapu, May Day, festival. It is usually spiced by adding both the pulp and rind of a lemon. During secondary fermentation, raisins are added to control the amount of sugar sand to act as an indicator of readiness for consumption. They will rise to the top of the bottle when the drink is ready. However, the sugar used in modern practice is typically brown sugar, not honey. Ethiopian meat is called tesh, and is usually homemade. It is flavored with the powdered leaves and bark of gesho, a hop like bittering agent which is a species of buckthorn. A sweeter, less alcoholic version called bears, aged for a shorter time, is also made. The traditional vessel for drinking tesh is a rounded vase shaped container called the barele. Mead known as Ikilika is traditionally prepared by the Kosa of South Africa. Mead in Poland is part of culinary tradition for over a thousand years. In the United States, mead is enjoying a resurgence, starting with small home meaderies and now with a number of small commercial meaderies. As mead becomes more widely available, it is seeing increased attention and exposure from the news media. Mead is featured in many Germanic myths and folk tales such as Beowulf, as well as in other popular works that draw on these myths. Notable examples include books by J.K. Rowling, Tolkien, George R.R. R. Martin, T. H. White, and Neil Gaiman. It is often featured in books using a historical Germanic setting and in writings about the Viking Age. Mead is mentioned many times in Neil Gaiman's 2001 novel, American Gods, it is referred to as the drink of the gods. In the Inheritance Cycle series by Christopher Paolini, the protagonist, Aragon, often drinks mead at feasts. It is also referenced in the Kingkiller Chronicle novel series by Patrick Rothfuss. The protagonist Kavoth is known to drink methyl and the non-existent Graysdale mead is also drunk, although it is merely water. The drink of mead is mentioned many times in Michael Greitens Eaters of the Dead published 1976. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.